Memphis, Texas resembles Memphis, Tennessee only in name. Here there are no nightclubs, no museums, no markings of big city culture. Just a lonesome courthouse square in a small town that gets a little smaller every day. You might say Memphis, Texas has the blues. Whoa, yeah. I played a lot of music. Yeah, you know, I really paid some dues. Played a lot of music. Yes, I really paid some dues. And long as I be singing, singing and playing these blues. Oh, yeah. It was along these dusty streets where we met William McFalls. His talent has taken him far and wide, yet somehow he always ends up here, pounding the pavement in this panhandle cotton community. Maybe it's because this is where William McFalls first became known as Blues Boy Willie. Eight or nine years old, they started calling me Lil Willie, and the first juke joint band I played with, uh, they billed me out as Blues Boy Willie, because I was the youngest, youngest one in the band out of about a seven-piece band, you know. And I've always known, man, this is what I want to do. Fifty years ago, a boy named William spent his summers pulling cotton and picking out blues riffs in Memphis, Texas. Then that talented kid took on the name Blues Boy Willie, a moniker that would make its way onto the Billboard charts. My biggest hit was a tune called Be Who. Be Who and Be Who Too. Be Who Too and <laughs> Be Who Three. We did, we did a trilogy of those songs and. It stayed on the billboard charts for 21 weeks and it peaked out at number 57. So I say, man, I've got a hit record. With a knack for instruments and a silky smooth voice, blues boy Willie can knock them dead with his humor and blues in sold out shows and smoky juke joints alike. But in a private concert near the childhood home of Memphis' very own blues man, you will hear the true soul of this singer. Yeah, last time you went fishing, baby. Yeah, you stayed three nights. Well, last time you Fishing, baby. Baby, you stay three nights. Baby, you know that's long enough for any fish to bite. That right, Bob? Yeah, those fish inside the cooler, baby. Don't tell me that you caught them. Yeah, yeah, those fish inside the cooler. Girl, don't tell me that you caught them. Yeah, I was at the supermarket. Girl, I saw you when you bought them. Yes, I'm stopping all this fishing Before you make your big mistake You're gonna do it Yeah, I'm stopping all this fishing Before you make your big mistake 
Yeah, one day you're gonna go fishing, baby. I'll be waiting at the lake. <laughs> Better stop your fishing, baby. I'm on to you. <laughs> what was Saturday night like in this town back in the day? Man, it was wild as wild bill. <laughs> <laughs> it was a wild town, man. All the people that come in for the cotton harvest, they get together at the jukes, man, and we'd, we'd play that music for them, you know. There was five jukes at one time in this right town. Here, right here in this little town. Right here in this little town. Place. Yeah, over across the tracks, you know. How many now? None. All closed up? Huh? All closed. Uh, there's nothing but the slab left of the first juke joint band I played with, but it lives on in my heart. <laughs> Half a century has come and gone since the last of the Memphis juke joints closed its doors. You can see the years in the cracked facades of downtown and in the weathered face of a man they used to call William McFalls. Times have changed all right, but the music remains the same. And so long as they've got blues boy Willie, Memphis, Texas will always have a hit. Blues is the way it is. I was born with the blues. I love this town, man. I mean, you know, I go and come, you know, but this is always home. <laughs> <laughs> 